Hey guys, Uhuru. We don't make stuff anymore. You know, my kids are really into fidget spinners, and uh, they, my son wanted some fancy wood one. They're about 25, 30 bucks. I said, no, I can make that easy. It's just a bunch of, just drill a bunch of holes and then sand it with a Dremel, and well, I'll make you one, and it'll be beautiful. And while everyone else is playing video games and wasting their time on Twitter and Facebook, real dads, real men, are in there making shit from scratch and bonding with their kids and showing them how to make stuff. Watch me create this on my own. So first you get a nice thin piece of wood. This is approximately thin sized. And then you want to get a drill that matches up the same size as the ball bearing. This is 7 eighths. I think that's going to work, but I'm going to test it first. So I'm testing it on a corner piece. Let's see if she fits. Get nice and close here. Oh, I think that's a perfect fit. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a spindle face. I wish I had something slightly thinner. I feel like it's gonna slip through. But maybe when we add polyurethane and varnish, this hole will be smaller. Now the thing you have to figure out, I just realized, is there's negative space here that helps define the shape. There's three holes in the middle, but there's also three holes that define the outside. So it's actually seven holes. So I'm going to take advantage of the test hole we just did and make that part of it. See, get close here. And I'm gonna make a whole bunch, one, two, three, four, and then five, six, and that'll be seven. So now I've made the seven holes, and I have to find the center of each hole to put this doohickey in, right? The pointy part. Um, so I'm just gonna put a ball bearing, come close, put a ball bearing on the circle, and then I can better see the center of that circle. So now all I'll have to do is plug this into that and drill down. Let's do it. Ah, oh, damn it. See, the problem with this thing is the the lines in between the holes are so thin that it snaps easy. I'm gonna have to make a wider one. So we tried to make this exactly, but these are too thin and it just kept snapping. So we did this one by sight. And now I'm just gonna sort of sketch it out here because um, uh, the lines have to be about this thick. And I guess we'll um, we'll make the main cuts with a jigsaw, and then we'll uh, do the fine tuning with a Dremel. My concern here, though, is that this is going to be so big that you won't be able to use it. In fact, I could kind of work that out now. Let's see if the ball bearing fits. Ball bearing fits. It's a little too loose. Yeah, I think this might just work. The beauty is we can keep trimming the edges with the Dremel once we get the basic shape. All right, so now we're going to um, cut the shape out with the jigsaw. I'm really worried I'm going to get too close to the holes and it's gonna shatter. <laughs> this is, may not be elegant, but it's coming along. Not very good, is it? What do you think, John? All right, so we have a very uh, rough outline of it, and uh, we're gonna use this Dremel, I guess this is the right head, and, and just sort of trim it and try to make it prettier. All right, um, I, I made it as small as I could, but if I make it any smaller, I'm gonna compromise the structure, I think. So it looks pretty cave-like. And then I'm just, instead of uh, painting varnish on, I'm just going to dip it into the varnish. I'm going to save a brush. Oh, shoot. I'm not getting the middle. All right, I'll figure out the middle in a second. As you can see, uh, this looks like crap. I, uh...
thought it would be way cool than this. It just finished drying. And it reminds me of when we grew our own strawberries. And it took about 30 hours and endless weeding and stuff. Turns out uh, some things are better left to big companies. This was a failure. And I am the... All right, that was a lot harder than I thought it would be. And the varnish and the polyurethane with two brushes cost me 35 bucks. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Rebel Edge, where you can find all the videos that are exactly like this one, but different.